Hi there, I'm Alana, co-owner of Apple Cheeks, and in today's video what I would like to do is address the uh, subject of folding your inserts so they fit nicely in your size 2 covers. Now as you know, the advantage of the Apple Cheeks system is that although we do have two size covers, our inserts are actually only one size. In our standard tutorial video that's available through our YouTube channel or on our website at www.applecheeks.com under the How tab and Video Tutorials, we address how to fit the inserts nicely into your size 1 covers and essentially all we address is the tri-folding, folding our inserts in thirds. Now our size 2 covers are slightly bigger than our size 1 covers, as you can see this is the gorgeous St. Lucia and my favorite raspberry sorbet. Um, so we sometimes have to fold uh, the insert a little bit differently so that it gives us nice coverage inside the size too. Now for the sake of this tutorial video I'm going to be laying my inserts on top of my covers. I'm not going to be stuffing them inside the pocket opening just so you can see what I'm doing but do note that any of these configurations are uh, just as good using the cover stuffed. So here is our one size bamboo insert. I have two here, I'll just move one out of the way. Our basic setup is to take this insert as a tri-fold like this, fold it in thirds, and put it in the cover. Now this setup actually can work very well in a size 2, and when I'm putting my size 2's on my daughter, uh, I do uh, just use the tri-fold. Little, for little girls, we want more absorbency in the middle, so that's why if it doesn't cover from end to end, it's not a big deal. Little boys, however, tend to be more um, of uh, front wetters, and when, when they don't have enough absorbency up front where they actually need it, they can get leakage. Often the, the insert will get saturated just up at the front, not at the back here, and then the cover will start to leak as a result. So here's a couple of suggestions for folding your insert to fit nicely in the size too. First of all, the insert is long this way. If we fold it in half this way, we get a wide insert, but it's quite short, and it's actually too wide for a size 2 cover. If we fold it in half this way, the length, we get the, the perfect size to fit inside the size 2 cover. As you can see what I'm doing is I'm just tucking it in from front to back. And we get a really nice perfect fit and length as well as from side to side. Now the disadvantage of folding it this way is that we only have two layers of absorbency. For some kids that's fine, especially little girls who will for the wetness will channel from the front to the back, but for little boys this is often not enough. And this is part of the reason why we make the boosters and the stay dry boosters. Uh, they allow you to configure your system to suit your child's needs. So you can fold the booster in half for a little boy and place it right up here in the front of the diaper. And what this does is provide a lot of absorbency right up front where he needs it, at the same time not adding bulk to the rest of the diaper, and you get good coverage in the back in the case that he poops. The, um, the other issue that we have addressed in one of our blog posts, but just in uh, diagram form, is the boy fold. In the size 1 diaper for the boy fold, what you'll do is you'll fold about uh, an inch or two down in the front, and then you'll fold in thirds, and this makes a long, thin insert with a lot of absorbency right up at the front. For the size 2 diaper, you'll do the same thing, but you can fold it in half. That way we get nice absorb extra absorbency up at the front where the boy needs it. At the same time, we don't lose much length or width. And then all we have to do is tuck the insert inside the cover like this. Usually the label side down so that the label doesn't irritate your baby in any way. And see, we still get a nice, nice uh, absorbency up in the front, and we still get the length in the back for the coverage. And then you can also, if you find that's not enough, you can still add your booster folded in half. And for extra stray dry protection, if you're using this as just a, an insert in a cover, we just put the stay dry booster on top. 